Well, if you start reading through the files of the old California Eagle, which was a magnificent uh, community paper, the major African-American paper in L.A., from 1946 to 1950, there was a really powerful civil rights movement in Los Angeles, and people were fighting to break out of the Central Avenue ghetto to move south of uh, Slauson, to move to the west, beginning to more integrate the high schools. Compton was white. You know, a great part of the South Central was white, Inglewood was white, Gardena was white. First black kid to move into that area, moved on 62nd and Hooper in 1946. There were Italians, there were Germans, there were Russians, Armenians, Lithuanians, what they called Croatians and Serbs. When you can't live where you want to live, when you can't go where you want to go without someone saying something to you, there's a problem. And every day I was called names with no brothers and sisters, so I began with a bad attitude. And I began fighting the little white kids every day. And you can track, literally week by week, attacks on black kids in the high schools and in junior high schools. And what you see emerging are black youth fighting back against attacks by white gangs and beginning to create, you know, what they didn't call gangs at the, at the time. They were just groups of kids united to fight off, you know, the people who stoned them when they came to school or ambushed them after school. The whites were predominant in the area, so we banded together at Slauson Park. There were well-organized white gangs, some of which then continued and lived on for 20 more years, like the infamous Spook Hunters. We used to get attacked by white boys, namely a group called Spook Hunters who were all over Inglewood, Southgate, Linwood, Hollywood, Maywood, and all the other woods. Yeah, they had a gang called the Spook Hunters. Yeah, yeah. Like we shut them down. They had a black man hanging on the back of their jacket with a rope. Spook Hunters was a umbrella term. That was a term like, you know, black people are spooks or whatever, and we're white boys, and we're going to catch them. What exactly like well, happened? Uh, well, the white boys and them 41 fools cut down, would ride by, and call you all nigga, this, that, and that. And we fought with them. Once I, I learned about these white gangs, I learned about the, the, uh, the response to these white gangs. A gang called the Slawsons, a gang called the Farmers, the Businessmen, a gang called the Gladiators. These were all black gangs. And I learned about these famous gang members back then. I started to hear about Bird and about Chinaman and then these are Slossons and, and it dawned on me and me and my buddies on the block we're in the Slosson area so it's starting at the end of grammar school we said well we're going to be Slossons. We are from the south so when we come to the city we was confused mm -hmm. about prejudice. Racism and prejudice was the order of the day. It happened every day. We couldn't go there, we couldn't go here, mm -hmm. we couldn't go that. So I call us, we're not gangs, mm -hmm. we, are, we are the pioneers right. mm -hmm. that open up mm -hmm. Los Angeles where that we can be in Centinella Park, so, where we can be across mm -hmm. Crenshaw. And Gardena, well, Gardena. Gardena. these existing gangs, the Slossons, the Gladiators, the businessmen, who kind of like fought the white boys throughout the city. Then there's no white boys to fight. Jesse Owens' part used to be called Sportsman's part. From 61 to 63, we fought the white cats from Inglewood because they said that blacks couldn't come swimming in the swimming pool. So eventually we got the park. Eventually the name changed, not because we were the toughest or the baddest, but because after, you know, during those 60s, it was the white flight movement, and they started leaving anyway. Everybody's kind of boxed 